and girls, I'm back to read you A Spot of Bother, a hilarious farmyard fiasco by Jonathan Emmett and Vanessa Caban. Right, let's start. A Spot of Bother. It was a fine summer morning on the hilltop farm and the pig was enjoying a breakfast of big juicy cherries. Yum, yum, said the pig as he finished his meal. Pig was very proud of his appearance and always kept himself perfectly clean. So he was horrified to see that a squashed cherry had left a bright red spot on his side. It was only a small spot, but once Pig had noticed it, he couldn't ignore it and tried as he might, he could not get it to clean it off. Good morning, Pig, said Goat, who wondered by chewing something. It's not a good morning, said Pig. Can't you see this bothersome spot? It's a monstrous misfortune, said Pig. Don't worry, said Goat. I'll soon clean it off. And he began licking at the spot. Goat finished licking and stepped back to take a look. Oh, sorry, Pig, said Goat guiltily. It must have been the beetroot that I was eating. Oh, it's a terrible tragedy, moaned Pig. Don't worry, said Cow. I'll soon clean it off. Cow fetched a mop from the tractor shed and she rubbed it on the spot. Cow finished rubbing and stepped back to take a look. Sorry, Pig, said Cow. There must have been some tractor oil on that mop. It's a dreadful disaster, wailed Pig. Don't worry, said Sheep. I'll soon clean it off. Sheep led Pig to the sheep dip and poured shampoo on the spot. Sheep finished shampooing and Pig climbed out to take a look. Well, sorry, Pig, said Sheep sheepishly. That shampoo it must have been sheep dye. It's a clantamorous catastrophe, howled Pig. At least now you're all one colour, said Cow. I'd ra I think blue rather suits you, said Goat. So do I, agreed Sheep. No, it doesn't. I look like a giant blueberry, blurted the Pig. Pig couldn't bear it for anyone to look at him, so he ran off and hid in the barn. He didn't come out until it was dark, and even then he crept around the edge of the farm so no one would see him. Unfortunately, it was so dark that Pig couldn't see where he was going. Before he knew it, he'd fall into a big, muddy puddle. By the time he crawled out again, he was covered from head to trotter in thick, sticky mud. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, groaned Pig, as he trudged back to his shelter and collapsed in a de dejected heap. When cow, goat and sheep got up the next day, Pig was nowhere to be seen. They spent the whole morning looking for him. The only clue they found was a big heap of mud next to his shelter. They were inspecting this curiously when it spoke to them. Go away, said the heap grumpily. The other animals gasped in surprise as the pig raised his muddy head. I didn't think that things could get any worse than they were yesterday. But now look at me, grumbled Pig. The hot sun had dried out the mud, so it had cracked and far off Pig as he got to his feet and he shuffled away. But Pig, said Cow, you look fantastic, said Goat. I don't think I've ever seen you looking so clean, agreed Sheep. And it was true. The mud had sucked out all the dye and dirt from the day before, leaving Pig completely clean. Pig could not believe it at first, but when he realised it was true, he danced with delight. I'm spotless, I'm speckless, I'm pinker than pink. I'm perfectly pristine, Pig, he shouted as he pranced to and fro in front of his friends. He had just finished with a flourish when he felt something sticking to his bottom. What is it? He looked straining to look. It looks like a squashed cherry, said Cow. Goat swallowed the mouthful of beetroot he had been chewing and licked his lips. Don't worry, he said. I'll soon clean it off. And that's the end. Right, guys.
boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that story.